at six. It's really about secrets, keeping secrets, keep it, keeping secrets, and keeping money. Now at six, survivors of church sex abuse are criticizing the Diocese of Oakland tonight for filing for bankruptcy protection. Thank you for joining us for Crown Four News at six. I'm Pam Moore. I'm Ken Wayne. The diocese says it simply doesn't have the funds to litigate more than 330 lawsuits that allege child sex abuse. Chapter 11 would stop the lawsuits and set up a plan to uh, compensate those based on their claims. Yeah, the church says that this is the most transparent way to do this. However, a group representing abuse survivors says that it is simply a way for the church to pay less and cover up its secrets. Ground Force Dan Kerman has the story. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Oakland has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, saying it does not have the financial resources to shoulder the burden of litigating more than 330 lawsuits alleging child sex abuse. In a statement, the diocese said with the Chapter 11 filing, legal action against the Roman Catholic Bishop of Oakland will stop, allowing the diocese to develop a plan of reorganization based on assets and insurance coverage available to be used to settle claims with abuse survivors. After careful consideration of the various alternatives for providing just compensation to innocent people who were harmed, we believe this process is the best way to ensure a fair and equitable outcome for survivors. This is a part of the national playbook that, that bishops run. Uh, the very last step in the, in the playbook is to say we can't tell our secrets, let's declare bankruptcy and hide behind bankruptcy court, and that's what you're seeing. Dan McNevin with SNAP, the Survivors Network for Those Abused by Priests, says filing for bankruptcy puts a stop to lawsuits, and that allows the church to keep secret how abuse allegations were mishandled. In those files, you know, uh, are, are, the, are the methods and, and the means and methods of how, how the abuse was enabled, um, how priests were moved from place to place, how earlier victims were silenced, uh, and, and where the abuse occurred. McNevin, an abuse survivor himself, says this is also an attempt by the church to pay abuse victims less than they deserve. They're gonna try to say that they have $100 million. And we know that they have billions of dollars. SNAP is hoping a bankruptcy judge will reject the Chapter 11 filing, and they'll ask federal and state lawmakers to investigate whether this bankruptcy tactic is an effort to skirt the law. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.